You made an extraordinary statement in your opening statement, to my mind anyway, and I quote, as you did, I would go further and say that the mental health of every person in Ireland is being damaged by the Eighth Amendment. Is this a medical opinion, or have you carried out uh, research examining this uh, conjecture, which has assessed the mental health of every person in Ireland, or have you at least uh, an inclusive representative group? If not, I presume this is a political opinion, not a medical one. And what about the 80,000 people who marched in this city not so long ago, not far from this building, to keep the aid? And respond to that? I don't mind. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose I, obs I was asked to come before the Oireachtas as a um, specialist in mental health. Um, this is a national issue. This is the place where the laws are made and where our legislation is discussed. I'm giving, it is an opinion as a mental health specialist, and I thought that that was the reason that I was invited here. Um, is there, is it a, is it a study? Is it a, a methodologically driven study? Absolutely not. Right. No, it's not. And a lot of what I've said here today is based on my own experience and uh, based on contacts that I've had with people who've been in desperate situations. And, you know, I've made that very clear. Well, thanks for that. That was a very sweeping statement. That was an alarm bite. And so thanks for the clarification. That is your own opinion. Would you outlaw genocide where a woman may seek to abort her baby simply because the baby she's carrying is a girl? Sorry? I said that, sorry, that's, that's way outside of my reach. Probably not a question for some high It's perhaps one for another professional yeah. 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 psychiatrist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask the questions. I'm entitled to ask. Oh, of course, Thank yeah. You. Thank she, you. She, I think she's indicated. And according to you, uh, just to follow on from that, I could I continue? No, sorry. We'll have Deputy McGrath without interruption. This is the usual banter that we get, and this is what the people outside us overnight. We can't ask our questions. I didn't interrupt anybody. Well, I'm, Anybody. I'm Thank trying you, to, as I know, chair, I'm trying to protect you. Well, deputy, we could so have please. this, we, we could have a small bit of decorum, please. And according to, to follow on to that question, according to the 2010 article in The Economist, this practice has led to a massively skewed um, sex ratio in China, India, Taiwan, Singapore, and other countries. And also, if I could finish, the head of the British Pregnancy Advisory Service, BPAS, has said that it should be legalised in Britain because women should be free to make that choice, even if the baby is being aborted simply because she is a girl. Do you agree with BPAS, or would you outlaw uh, sex selection abortion? I think Deputy McGrath have already made it clear that this is way outside of my area of expertise, and I'm feel co I feel uncomfortable um, that this question is even being put to me. And that's so fine, come. Professor. So you, you come that's fine if you feel uncomfortable, but I am entitled to ask the questions. I mean, we had sweeping statements that everybody was affected by the Eighth Amendment, everybody's mental health. I mean, I was very uncomfortable about that, and, and thousands of people in the, in the country are uh, uh, very uncomfortable about that. So, I mean, you can't, you, you also said that uh, you don't represent your profession here today. It's a personal, your, your views are personal. And all the questions. Well, could I ask? Could I ask you a question? No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm not here. I made that question. Sorry. Sorry. Could, I get an, could I get an answer from my question, please? Yeah, no, you you, you could, can ask me a question any time. She can answer with a, a, a formula. Yeah. A questions well, asked. But she doesn't want to answer questions. Yeah. I mean, she so might wish to clarify. We were something. to have Professor Casey here today, yeah. and very even psychiatrist also. You didn't read in her record into the public. Her, her uh, sorry, letter. Deputy. No, I'm making this point because I asked at the start, yeah. uh, at the private session, yeah. to have it read in to the record, on a public record, and it should have been because she had elaborated many um, opposite views well, uh, to what Matty, uh, Professor Keane has done Deputy here. McGrath, I think it actually proves the point that it is a pity that she didn't attend. I'm disappointed that she didn't attend. Oh, sorry. And if she were here, she, she'd be able to make the points that you would like her to make. But I'm and I, it, there's no facility for me under the rules of the House to read a, to read a letter into the record for a witness that didn't appear. But you have done the clarification is a different You matter. have read other um, issues. Only clarifications. Yeah. Only and clarification. I had to read my own uh, correction last week, you didn't, you refused to read it yourself. So, I mean, we know how biased the committee is, we know the no, way it's treating sorry. the people, and Deputy, we know what's happening. That is completely it's not completely. unfair. No, it's very I, true. I read points of clarification only up and until this point. And I wrote you to ask you to read a clarification I believe from my good self, and you didn't allow, you said I have to do it myself. No, I, I believe you wrote to the CPP, which I, I only heard. I, I, I believe you wrote to the CPP, and I'll address that matter. There's that's no another issue, issue. That's, that's about something else. No, the one I read last week, I read it myself because I had written to your good self to read out the, 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 the clarification and you didn't. I had to do it myself. So. I think it's probably 
inappropriate to challenge me on this point while there's a witness present and we're asking it's questions. Uh, I, by all Should means, take this point up with me at, at, the, at another moment. And on that point to the Chair, I did offer last week to listen to our three witnesses before I read the clarification. You, I'm not being unfair to anybody, let's be fair. I'm just making the point that we've heard from Patricia Casey, very eminent psychiatrist, and uh, we, she asked that her, that her, um, her letter would be uh, read into the public and record here. And I think a further point of clarification is you're a member of the committee writing to me. That's yes. a different matter to somebody who is a witness who well, writes to me for a point of clarification. Whatever. All I want you're here play to make clarifications like hearing. you've just made now. I also so, asked so for a short video. On? I also asked you to look at a short video and of an animated version. That didn't happen either. S sorry. Sorry? Deputy. I was just asking sorry. you how that six Excuse minutes me. was going. Sorry. Well, do we need, do well, we need, actually, do we need, actually, do we need, we're not quite at six no, minutes. No, we need con constant, uh, ignorant exactly. interruption. Do we please? Can, excuse me, can we have order? From people who won't tell us where Jean McConville was, was murdered. Sorry. And hidden in her family. Deputy. And yeah. she Deputy. talked so much about limit. No. That's, what, that's what the double standards we're dealing with. Deputy. It is committee. Deputy. That's the double standards we're dealing with from Sinn Féin. Listen. Who won't tell where a, a woman Deputy. that was abducted with 12, 13 children. And then she he talks, about a home, he talks about her home in Limerick. I don't mean necessarily, but the office that I have. It's a fact yeah. I am respected, Chair. Thank you. I'll move on to the next uh, questioner, uh, Deputy Rabbit, please. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was. Mesmerised. I am telling you, I, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I want every map withdrawn that I mesmerised anybody. I'm stating what I believe. My my perfect beliefs. So I'm. Okay. I want that check. I want that retract. Retract. I can't withdraw something that's factual. Mesmerised. I want that retracted, please. Sorry. I'm entitled to come in and speak. Or am I? Do you want us to leave this committee completely, like we threatened to? We will have to Deputy. if you continue. I want that retracted. Deputy. I don't believe I mesmerised anybody. I'm stating Deputy. facts. I think various things have been thrown across the I chain. didn't throw anything at anybody, person. I'm not saying that you did. I'm I just never. saying that various things have been thrown around You've the place. And there's no benefit and no You've good been here can come from this sort of... You should have learned at this stage. We can't have this sideshow and this kind of what attempts to undermine us. Sorry. Please. Sorry. We I had asked you before and you ignored it about Deputy O'Connor's remarks. I had to go to CPP. And now this is going on again. So, are we having a committee as a justice charade? Uh, deputy. It's a, no, it's a charade. Deputy. I want that withdrawn that I mesmerised anybody. I understand your frustration. But that I want that withdrawn. That, that You're the in the professor chair. didn't attend today. I no, understand that, your that's frustration that's, I'm not talking about, about that. that. I'm but talking these about are a statement. all wider issues. I'm talking about a statement that has been made by uh, Deputy O'Brien. Yeah, that, 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 that I mesmerised the committee. Or mesmerise so members of the committee. Sir, yeah. Well, look, no, I want to. I can't control how people. You don't want to control. No, no. Because you're biased. I'm not. Totally biased. I'm leaving this charade right now, for today anyway. This exposure policy is a total, absolute charade from the staff. You sat at, 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 at a meeting in England last week again, trying to get people over here to talk about uh, bringing abortion into Ireland sir, in the business committee. Sorry. Sorry. If it's your choice to leave, I'd be grateful if you did. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's just the definition is capture the complete okay. attention of someone, transfix. Okay, sorry, sorry. Can we have some order in the room, please? It's deputy.